Hello YouTubers! Now in this video, make a short little video, I want to show you how I put my patterns for engraving onto my work pieces. Just started engraving and uh, made my own hand pieces and my own compressor and everything. I will try to make a video about that on its own. Uh, so, but first of all I want to show you a very nice and quick way how to get your pattern onto your workpiece. It's pretty simple. All you need is something to rub it onto. You need some baking paper or parchment paper I guess it's called. Um, this is for uh, baking, you know, it doesn't stick to anything, it has some uh, oil surface or whatever, so if you print something on it, the color does not really stick to it. And some hairspray. That's the big secret. And also some acetone to clean your pieces before even starting. So first of all, just take a very small drop of acetone, just a tiny amount, don't need a lot, and I want you to on the back side of the knife so just clean it a little bit it's not that particular so uh, you will see why in a second it's just it should not be any fat or oil or something or grease on there um, because the hairspray needs to stick to it so but if there's some dust or some little debris on it that's not a big problem at all <clears throat> now, what you're gonna do is you coat it in a very, very thin layer of hairspray. Just a and that's it. You do not see anything. I already just covered it in a very, very thin layer. And now this needs to dry. What you can do to dry it, you can uh, use a hair dryer, but do not make it too hot because otherwise you will get bubbles in the hairspray and you do not want that. You need a very clean and straight surface like coated with a lacquer or something. And the nice thing about simple hairspray is it is water, it's not water resistant, so it's water soluble and that's the nice piece about it. If it's completely dry, it's not sticky anymore. Yeah, like this knife, this is now dry and it's not sticky anymore. And I also uh, put a second layer of hairspray onto the motif, onto the pattern, so it does not disappear when you rub slightly over it. If you press on it, you will smear it uh, or you can chip it off partially. So. Nice thing about hairspray is it dries pretty fast. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp this piece in my awesome my ball vise. Just to secure it a little bit. And now I'm gonna choose the pattern I want to take and I wanna use this pattern here. And you print it with a laser printer on parchment paper. You mount the parchment paper with a tape onto a simple uh, paper, the size you can print. And uh, you make the parchment paper a little bit smaller, so you can put some tape around it. And then you send it through the printer. And so you can get all the patterns you need, you want, onto your parchment paper. And do not touch them. If you touch them, they will rub off and then you cannot use them anymore so you need to be very careful with these ones uh, just lay them flat and let them be you can leave them for more days it doesn't matter I have some laying around for about two weeks and they still work very well as printed on the first day so now first of all I'm gonna cut it out pretty careful well, yes I'm left-handed and this is a left-handed scissor. Ta-da! Now you have the pattern. But I guess this pattern for this knife is too big. We're going to see it. Yes, it is way too big. So, 
cannot use it, but just put it aside to the other patterns, you will use it on another knife. So what we're going to try instead is we use the smaller one. This one is smaller, but I'm just checking out how it works. It's still too big, but it works way better. So a few scrolls get cut off, but that's not a big deal. It looks pretty nice in the end, I guess, because you can see what it's meant to look like or what it's meant to be. And also, it's just a try out. But these knives are already finished. They're, I made them for engraving, personalized. It's a very nice steel. It's a multi layer Damascus. May you can see it on the blade. No, I don't you can see it. Um, it has a VG10 core and V2A, so stainless but not hardenable outside layers. And that's very nice because after hardening it's still soft outside but the cutting edge is extremely hard. And therefore you can bend the knives but you can re-bend them so they are not very strong as said but they're very sharp and they're not made for chopping so they're just small working knives, utility knives, you know, scalpels like this. And the nice thing is that the outer layer is not hardenable so you can engrave it. And now, after this nice piece has dried, I'm going to see how we put the pattern onto the knife. I guess we use it this way. Yep, it's pretty nice. And... <coughs> and I turn it around. Let's have a look. Just see how it fits the best. You want it if you... Put it up, you can easily wash it down with water and make it again, but it's all time you're gonna waste, so make sure you make it correct the first time and you don't need to do it another time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm lifting it up a little bit so no of the pins are standing up and could get into the way. You know, the small pins do not stick above the knife and uh, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna breathe onto this piece and with your uh, wet with your humidity air humidity in the air you breathe out you try to make the hairspray sticky again just a little bit and then you put the pattern on and rub it onto then it's very fast on it and it holds very well but I said I need to first yeah, put it up this way metal is cold so it takes the vapor very nice Keep your thumb up on it. Watch out for the sharp blade. I guess it's razor sharp already. And then you're just gonna rub it with some plastic on metal surface, you know, like all the other ones do. And just try to bring the pattern from the parchment paper onto the surface. And you just Lift it up and check if all right. And it looks very good. Just going on this edge once more. It should be done now very carefully. Try to turn everything around without moving it. And now hold on to the other side and do the same again. This is if you have a bigger piece, you can mount it with tape, you can secure it and uh, make sure it doesn't slip around. But the nice thing about the hairspray is it already sticks a little bit to it, even though parchment paper does not stick very well to anything. But it, it doesn't move as much as if the metal is dry. I tried it with dried metal or with clean metal, 
in the first place a lot of videos recommend that but I found that a little layer of hairspray will help you very much to uh, get the pattern onto the surface and the funny thing is if you use some lacquer or something like that it will not work as well because the lacquer will smear the laser powder you know it's printed with powder and burned on and uh, then it could smear your pattern and you have it everywhere all over so it doesn't work that well you need some water soluble you could also use acrylic spray paint maybe never try that because hairspray is the cheapest you can get and and therefore, yeah, my, my, my hairspray can costed about, I guess, one, one buck, one fifty, something like that. And now, what we're gonna do, as you can see, pattern is up on there, it looks already pretty nice, but it does not is looks as strong as it should be to get a good engraving. And now, with a code, another code of uh, hairspray. You will see how it turns out after that. Now you can use a little bit of a thicker layer, cover it up, everything. And uh, after drying, as you can already see, it's way more colorful. And you can really, really good see. And, and the better the print is, the better the pattern comes out. So you really almost get every grain of color onto the metal like that. Yeah. And now, gonna go for engraving this piece, or these two pieces, and uh, then I think we're gonna see again. Let's go on for engraving, I would say. Now after the attempt of engraving this pattern, I'm just gonna fill it up with some waterproof or permanent ink. And then we're gonna sand the surface with a 400 grit sandpaper to get rid of all the burrs that came up from engraving and also it makes the pattern way more beautiful in my opinion because then the lines get way more crisp and it just looks overall better when surface finished so now we're gonna let it dry for a while and uh, after all we're gonna send it off take a piece strip of sandpaper for on the grid and I think it looks pretty okay. The eyes, I could feel the eyes a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is use my stippling tool, as someone would call it, I guess. That's this little piece here. It's just some uh, center punch, micro center punch, you could say, and just stipple the surfaces.
Okay, now I guess you can recognize what it is. Uh, it looks pretty okay. It could be better. You know, I'm not a professional. I'm just trying out, and I think it's good. I like it. I really do. Yeah, now, hope you like this short little video, and uh, I will make some more engraving in future times. If you have some suggestion what I can try out or what you want to see me to make, you just leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more nice videos like this, and thanks for watching.